Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I did some playing around with my new eGPU and uh, I tested it out with uh, some overclocking and I just wanted to share the results with you. As many of you may know, uh, Thunderbolt is uh, restricted to 40 gigabytes, gigabits per second uh, transfer speeds. Uh, which is less than a PCI uh, Gen 3 by 16 slot. So you'd expect uh, the main bottleneck to be the bandwidth. Uh, so I decided to test that out with some overclocking to see if there was any headroom at all. So the score you're seeing right here is, uh, uh, is the unoverclocked score, where we have a core of... Um, 1000 megahertz, which is the stock for the 3900. No, I'm sorry, 3, 390 from uh, AMD with a 1500 megahertz memory. Uh, so I went ahead and did the benchmark and I got a average FPS of 58. And then I overclocked the card to um, uh, 1100 megahertz uh, core and 1600 megahertz memory. And I got this score. And if we actually do the math on that, let me just pull up my calculator here. Uh, we can see the percentages uh, that it improved. Uh, so we have um, 58, and let's divide that by 62.5. And we have an improvement of about 7%, a bit more than 7%. That is with a 10% overclock to the core and a uh, oh about six or seven percent overclock to the memory so as you can see it actually scales decently not very well but decently uh, so that was a positive surprise now i'm not actually sure if i've recorded any of this so let me just check that we are indeed recording fantastic so um i would like to do some more testing with uh, with this eGPU and I will probably and I'll upload that as it comes but as it stands now it doesn't seem like bandwidth is the uh, is the main bottleneck so I am kind of suspecting that it is in fact the latency that is the main bottleneck uh, when it comes to eGPUs because uh, as you know normally PCIe slots are connected to the uh, CPU directly, uh, but the Thunderbolt connection is connected to the chipset, which then relays information to the CPU, which then relays information to the chipset, which then pumps it out through the Thunderbolt uh, connection. So what I'm kind of suspecting here is that the main bottleneck that is kind of a, a constant percentage, no matter how powerful the GPU is, up to a certain point, of course, um, is going to be a latency. So uh, ways to improve that would maybe be to overclock the BCLK. That's uh, that's a thought. Uh, other than that, I, uh, I kind of just want to experiment around and I'll upload it as I find new stuff to upload. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.